previously on Seeking Boots. We are headed over to the Kitsap Peninsula to play White Horse Golf Course. As I do in some of my videos, I talk a little bit about the course. It was originally designed by Cynthia Dye, the niece of the legend Pete Dye. Jelly filled. My name is Tyson. I'm an average golfer that loves the game. Come along as I share my experiences both on and off the course, seeking birdies. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is part two of my round here at White Horse Golf Club out here in Kingston, Washington. I'm on number 10. This is probably my favorite hole on the course. It's probably the one that you have to either be really strong or really smart because it is a 90 degree dog leg left. The smart play is to play short, put it into the fairway and get there hopefully in two, maybe lay up on that second shot. And Sorry, there was a chipmunk just attacking a bush right there. I don't know if you heard that, but that was kind of intense. That being said, if you have some strength, you can cut the corner. If you have some accuracy, you can get through there and then you have a shorter approach, probably about a 50 to 100 yard approach if you do that. I'm gonna try to play it smart with my three wood, just a soft swing, get it out there in the middle of the fairway. Let's go on number 10. Just talking to the maintenance crew, they just punched number 10 fairway today, so it was a little spongy, so can't expect too much out of it when they just punch it, but it's gonna be good when it's all done. They're gonna probably fill it with sand. I've already had some seed on it, so it's always good. Gotta go, gotta go. Okay, start with a bogey on 10, moving on to 11. About to take my second shot, my drive was pretty good. If I went another about two or three yards, it would have been in the sand, but I'm about 70 yards out. I'm gonna go with a nice little soft approach wedge and uh, get it on in two. Let's do it. I didn't see where it ended up, but I'm pretty sure I got a kick to the right and off the side of it. So, go up there, chip on. On in three. Gosh, greens and regulation, that's what it's all about. Ended up with a six, double bogey on number 11. Moving on to number 12, these double bogeys, they're adding up, they're adding up. Goal today, break 100. If I could break 100, I'll be a happy camper because every time I get, come out here, it's like my kryptonite. I struggle, I'm on the struggle bus the whole day. Oh, I've had some good shots, had some bad shots, had some bad holes, but I've had some good holes. So let's uh, try to find a birdie here on the back nine and uh, get that score down a little bit.
So here at Whitehorse, I'm winded from walking up that hill, but here at Whitehorse, when you approach the 15th tee box, there is this random bell gong thing that you're supposed to ring. I don't know, my brother says it's for good luck. It might just be random, but hopefully that uh, turns around my golf game for the last few holes here. Let's go to the 15th tee box, tee off, and uh, see if we can save this game. I'm currently 21 over par. Woo! Plus 21. Some of you are like, okay, I'm clicking out of this video, but what you should do is subscribe. So we're up, about to take my third shot. I'm 172 yards out. My ball's right there. I like the pin placement looks pretty decent on this, so there are still a lot of bunkers on this course that are definitely mental game. Just they're, they're there in your mind and you try to avoid them and mess with you. So let's uh, hit this third shot and try to get it on in green in regulation. Not enough club, went left of the green, I'm short which I think if I hit a first, you know, longer club, hit my seven iron instead of my eight, it would have gone into the brush. So if you miss here, if you don't make it into the rough at least, you're in the bushes and chances are you're not finding your ball. Let's go up and hit. Par, finally. The score is not looking good, guys. But a par definitely is a, a good way to finish on 17 here. Let's go play 18 to finish up. Beautiful try, I chunk it. Ah, either way, good round, good round. Well, that does it for this round out here at Whitehorse Golf Club. I was 26 over, par 72, I shot a 98, which to most of you is not great, but this course is my kryptonite. I never break 100, so the fact that I broke 100, I'd say it's a good day. I had fun, sun was out. It was a little chilly this morning, a little bit of fog, but it warmed up and uh, burned off pretty quick. So that being said, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I would love to interact with you down in the comment section. I will see you all in the next video. Keep seeking birdies.